Selon toutes apparences, nous nous trouvons en ce moment au milieu d'une évolution nouvelle des principes sur lesquels était basée la théorie classique moléculaire et cinétique de la matière. D'une part, cette théorie, en son développement raisonné, conduit à une formule de radiation dont la validité est en désaccord avec tous les résultats de l'expérience. D'autre part, de cette même théorie découlent des thèses au sujet de la chaleur spécifique qui sont également réfutées par de nombreuses mesures. Dans ce but, le sous-signé vous propose de participer à un conseil scientifique qui se tiendrait à Bruxelles du dimanche 29 octobre au samedi 4 novembre 1911 en réunissant en comité restreint quelques professionnels éminents. The first solve council in physics took place in Brussels in October 1911. It was a new experience of guest only conference. It will stay, set the stage to many other scientific conferences during the 20th and early 21st century, some of which will play a major role in the development of theoretical physics. To establish solid administrative support, Ernest Solvay created the International Institute of Physics. He wanted also to establish a similar system for chemistry, but the first chemistry council took place in 1922. The two institutes merged in 1963 in response to economic restructuring. In 1970, a political crisis resulted in the creation of a new university, the Vraie Université de Brussels, VUB. The director of the institutes, Ilya Prigozhin, and the rectors of ULB and VUB, with the support of Jacques Ernest Solvay, decided to transform the institutes into a non-profit association, which became independent of the accounts of the two universities, although still located within their buildings. The history of the institutes and the councils continuing today is told by the documents of the Solvay archives. The history offers a special lens to investigate the history of physics and chemistry. It gives also a perspective on science research, science communication and science policy. The Solvay Science Project created by the institutes and the two universities aims to preserve these memories. The collection is kept in custody here at the ULB archives. 130 boxes, 14.3 meters, and more than 50,000 pieces. We have papers and visuals, and we have digitalized only a selected part of the material. The organization of the archive reflects its history. The first sub-collection contains the material relating to the International Institute of Physics and the first 12 physics councils. The second contains the material relating to the history of the Institute of Chemistry. The documents of the third sub-collection start from 1963. They tell us the activity of the commissions of the International Solvay Institute of Physics and Chemistry until 2004. The last sub-collection contains files and reports of the institutes until 2015, and it is supposed to grow. The archive offers preparatory and organizational correspondence, scientific articles, budgetary and administrative projects, and documents related to the organization of banquets and advice produced both by administrative and the scientific commissions. There are unpublished reports, letters and documents for a council that never took place. Most of the material is in French and English, but some documents are written in German, Russian and Dutch, and they have never been translated. Many documents are conserved in different sites, and the Solvay Science Project aims also to connect them back with a historical site in Brussels. In October 2020, SPCI and PSL from Paris joined the project. This vast documentary collection testifies to the intense participation of the institutes and its sectors in the intellectual life and scientific advances of their time in both physics and chemistry. <laughs>